first World Cup, the first official World Cup. Nora Stapleton, you become famous in rugby. You played in 2014, beating New Zealand. Of course, that was the big breakthrough. And you're now working in rugby to help them to promote the next World Cup. But you have a serious background in Gaelic games. Can you take me back to Inishon? Um Yeah, <laughs> uh, I do. Like, I played Gaelic football, Camogie, uh, from a very young age, you know, and you play with the boys growing up the whole time. But I suppose it wasn't until I went to college in UCD, got on in the Connor Cup team, and anybody who plays ladies GEA knows all about the Connor Cup. Um, and I think I was about 18, and I got asked, I was happened to be playing against Lorraine O'Sullivan, who was on the Donegal panel. She heard that I was from Donegal, and uh, yeah, we might have been opposition then, but she asked if she could give my number to the Donegal manager, and I got a phone call a couple of minutes later, inviting me down to a training session. Um, so like, I have to admit, I wouldn't have grown up ever knowing much about county panels or anything like that, and to ha get that opportunity, um, it's very nerve wracking for me as a as a kid. But uh, you know, I loved it. You just you get stuck in and playing for your county. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I probably have some regrets that I maybe didn't improve as much as I could have as a player. There's definitely you know things or ach achievements that I would have liked to have. Uh, won or achieved with Donegal um, but perhaps just the rugby kind of then took uh, more, more of my interest but uh, look I've played in Crow Park on numerous occasions wearing the, the county jersey which was every time is a special time and I've plenty of fantastic memories from playing with Donegal. And of course, you won an All-Ireland there in 2010, the All-Ireland Intermediate with Donegal. But I'm wondering, you know, that was obviously a great memory, but who was the best player maybe that you played against in those years, if I could ask you that? Um, oh, geez, that's hard. <laughs> um, I think, like, we used to have big matches against Galway. Um, so, yeah, Annette Kirk, actually, from Galway, probably, because we would have, I would have played a lot in midfield, and she would have been in the same position. And, um... You know, even going back, I remember playing I think when Galway beat us in the final in Crow Park before, or was it in Crow Park? I think I scored a goal and then Galway kicked it out and she ran the length of the pitch and scored a goal as well. And it's something that you always remember. So, yeah, she'd probably be one of the, the toughest. That Now, there's plenty of others, but she just stands out at the minute. And for Donegal, players you played with, who's the best players you played with? And you can pick some from the current team if you like. I'm sure there's some of them still there. <laughs> yeah, there there are. Like you've Aoife and Karen Guthrie and, and the girls and Yvonne Yvonne, they're all like they're still flying the flag and they're absolutely brilliant athletes. Um, you know, going back a bit, Nadine Doherty probably uh, stands out as well, just her knowledge of the game, um, great leadership on the pitch as well. Um, but yeah, to name a few there. <laughs> And do you think Donegal can win the All Ireland this year? I think they can. I thought, you know, last year I was watching them last year, um, and you could see, you could see the strength in their team coming through. You can see um, players developing, and there's a couple of girls there that, you know, that could really go on and do something special. Um, and they're very talented footballers. So yeah, I, you know, it's. Like I'm away from the sport now, so all you're doing is looking at results and trying to catch the odd game or two. But certainly, like like the GEA is is getting better and better all across the country, and that's still that's the same with Donegal. And just finally, would it be fair to say that their background in Gaelic football helped you in your rugby career? Yeah, of course it has. Everything from catch, pass, evasion, all of that, um, even reading the game. You know, obviously midfield, I was right in the middle of everything and uh, you're linking forwards and backs together and that's kind of what I'm doing now in the rugby pitch. It's all about directing the play and um, trying to think ahead, read, you know, the opposition's what they might be doing in attack and defence and then trying to set up our own so um, yeah the, the skills have transferred across but you know, like same I played soccer as well that there's obviously a bit of that coming into it also.